What's up guys, back with another video um, here on the Trapping Bros channel. Uh, haven't seen y'all, haven't talked to y'all in a while, but now that it's Christmas break, we're actually gonna be setting out some traps here on our farm. And yeah, um, you got anything else to say, Colt, before we get started? Well, we're at our first spot right now, and We'll show you that guys here in a little bit. So catch you guys when it happens. Okay guys, so we're at our first set. I'm just setting mine with these setters because I'm not strong enough to pull back the springs. So just these setters, obviously, you know, probably what they look like. So now I'm just shoving in the ground. And the bait I'm using is called Cord King by Backwater Baits. You should go check him out. And, and this is what it looks like. That is corn, and then I don't even know what else. Sunflower seeds, I think. Yeah. Just pour some in there. This is a, oh, wow, a big punk. And then just, you know, pour what some What trap are you using? Um, I am using a V-trap on, well, this is what we do, the pogo, and then obviously you can see the steak, and then we just did that. And then we put these, I forgot what they're called. What are they called? Split rings. Split rings. And then I just have it on pogo. If I want to use a steak, I can just use a steak. Or if I want to use a pogo, I can just grab it in and just get that out of the way. Cover the yellow chain up. And we'll catch you guys on the next set when Austin's going to set, probably. So, guys, I'm just setting this trap right here. Um, This is a duke. Just setting it right on this four way. You got a trail running from Colts Trapped over there. Come on, out in the field. We got a trap running right here. So here's the container. Um, actually, Next Gen gave us. Got some dog food and some anus oil. Or anus oil. Yeah. So since this is a, a pole, I'll just pull her up a good, a good amount. Try to get some grass and just cover up the tree. This doesn't matter a whole lot, but I try to just to just cover the chain up. Well, that's my set right there. Um, we'll catch you at the end, guys, of the day. Another set of mine, and it's under the cedar tree. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna get a good spot. And just using some plain cat food and a little bit of salmon oil. Stick their hand in. They might not want to, so catch you guys probably at the end of the day, but I don't know. So just see you guys. What's up, guys? Um, here we are the next morning checking our traps at about 7 15, and we just checked our first trap, there was nothing in it. But here we're coming up on some better sets, in my opinion. Yeah. So hopefully, we can catch something today. Um, so we'll see if we catch something. Well, guys, we're here on the ninth trap, I'm pretty sure, of the day. And we got us a big, big, big wet Ricky in another trap. So, yeah. Um, yeah, here on this nice, nice run right here, you can see. I don't know if it's a deer run. Uh, it's packed. And look what there is by it. And there's a corn cob by it. So, and, and an, into a cornfield. Yeah. So, we'll get him taken care of. Yep, we'll get him taken care of and get on the next trap. Well, guys, well, guys I forgot to tell you all, but that was actually a double foot catch. Yeah, it was. was that was the, I don't know if I've ever gotten a double foot catch before. Um, I'd say I probably have, but. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, I went to shoot it and I saw that he had both feet in the trap. So, like I said, we'll get on the next trap. 
it's right like 20 yards down the field so see you then so guys it's our second coon of the day and i'm not gonna get too close because it looks like he's worked around and i caught him in a can't tell what crap trap that is but it looks like a z trap caught him in a z trap he's a small little feller but made a big circle and and obviously a good run back into the woods around the tree and we'll catch you guys on the next coon well guys if you remember from last year we actually set two traps here exactly on this trail right here and we actually caught a double here last year we didn't get do as good today but i'm here. still happy with one coon this one's still dry he must not be here for very long Kind of an R trap, another one. Another R trap, yeah. You have Colt's, in yeah, thing. Colt's last trap was a Duke trap, and this one's an R trap. That means I've caught two coons with the R traps today. I've caught one coon with a Duke, but and it was like probably like seven pounds. <laughs> it was, was tiny. Small. This one's probably like I don't, I don't know. know. He's probably but thirteen or fourteen. We'll get him taken care of. Stop talking to him. Yep. I so, don't even know what we're talking see about. See you on the next set. Well, guys, I just saw some quail go past the road. Here's some more coming. I don't know. Is there any more left in the field, Colt? I don't want to run any over. But... I don't know how you good you can see, guys, because it's kind of rainy. But they're all right here. I'll just slow by because I don't want to scare them. But some quail around here are very, very... Well, they're starting to become less less rare, but or more common. But still, there's not a whole lot of them. So I think it's cool whenever you see them. So we're coming up on the 28th trap right here, right there, and uh, I ain't got nothing. So we'll see you on the next trap. All right, guys, so here we're here at the place. All right, we're here. Um, I'm actually gonna get ready to weigh it. I got my scale zeroed. I, we done got one coon done. And so, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not weighing that, that coon because it was, it was small, so. All right, here's this one. We'll just say 11 pounds. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like 10.99. Fluctuating from like 10.99 to like 11. So then we'll weigh this next one. This one looks bigger, but I don't know if it's bigger or not. So I gotta get my rope on it. Yeah, that's definitely bigger. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. This one's more like 15 and a half. So, that'll be it for this video, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for our future videos of trapping. Um, comment down below if you like trapping. Or comment down below if you want to see some other videos. Because I know our, our, our channel name's Trapping Bros, but we're more of a whole outdoor channel. So, like I said, guys, we'll see you in the next video, and bye.